Today I'm going to change the cabin air filter and the air filter on this 2018 ProMaster. Hope you enjoy it. I didn't know how to do it. It's really simple and basically all you need is two tools. A regular flathead screwdriver and a short Phillips screwdriver. So here we go. First things first, I'm taking this small Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to take out two screws uh, on the intake, the air intake. Uh, basically the hood's up, it's pretty exposed. This should be pretty simple. So as you can see, Two small screws, not many threads. Um, what I found, it's the first time I'm doing it by the way, as you're unscrewing them it's probably good to keep the pressure on the filter so it keeps the force up as you're pressing down to undo the screws um, and it literally just falls out. So I've never done this before, maybe the first time. Those are the screws. Tiny, very tiny, right, left. Uh, they're the same size. Put those here so I try not to knock them down this out and you know really it's dirty but I don't think it's that dirty so I'm gonna actually keep this as a spare new one pop it open this is really simple it's got to be more simple than uh, than taking it out from behind the glove compartment a lot of cars have that. Actually, I can reach back in there. The fan motor, you can feel it's right there. But really, it's not great. I'm actually going to wipe it out with a, uh, a wet napkin. So let me do that. Damp napkin. Basically, I'm going to reach back in there as far as I can get with my hand just to wipe down some of the dust. Then I'm gonna dry it. Can't hurt. Now I'm gonna put it back in. Should line up pretty easily. I don't like using gloves because you can just feel things better. Pretty simple, um, probably took me a little longer than I would have normally taken because it was my first time doing it. Give you a better idea as to what I was working on. Um, behind this gasket, there's the one screw and around there's the other screw. And you can see that the new air filter for the cabin has been replaced. Now, on to uh, what I didn't know is a, it's a air filter that's held in by one hose clamp right here. Flathead screwdriver will do it. Um, you could also use uh, probably a socket and, and a, um, a fitting for this, which would probably be just as simple, although there's not a lot of room. It's probably easier just with a screwdriver. It doesn't take a lot of time. And literally right over here is the second hose clamp and those will pop off, this should come out. And I like to uh, clean things and actually put them back together really clean. Um, it's just good maintenance. It's, you know, you can switch parts all you want, but I think there's something uh, in terms of quality when you actually clean things and um, put them together uh, the right way, nice and clean. shouldn't have to loosen it too much. As I said, you could probably use um, something a little different, like a, a hex fitting, but it doesn't really matter. And then over here, right there, is the other one. So, let's see, 
if I can, I may need a short screwdriver for this, but. Okay, this should now just pop out. Probably be easier to pull this top off and then this out there. So it came out and right there is the air filter that needs to come out. Um, this is the part I took out. Um, I'm gonna wash that down and wipe it off. Like I said, it's just a good opportunity to keep it clean. Inside is nice and clean, which you were, would hope for. It's actually really clean, it's like factory. Okay, so I've wiped off that, cleaned it. Um, actually used a little armor all just to clean it up. Now I've gotta take these four screws here, there, there, and there. Uh, take that out, take this um, collar off, and I should be able to access the filter. That said, again, I like to make sure that no dirt will fall in there. I wipe everything down before I get that done. Um, just better not to have dirt in places that dirt shouldn't be. So once the screws come out, and the screws basically, they don't pull all the way out. They kind of stay retained in the collar. Um, this just pulls straight up. Out. You work, work with it a little bit. You don't want to force things. Now I'm going to keep it in the same position as uh, the position I took out. I'll probably I'll just put it right there. So that will go back in the hole that it came out of, which is right here. Here is the filter. It just basically pulls out. And I guess it's it's dirty. Definitely dirty, um, but I don't know if it's dirty enough to replace. Probably is, but who knows. I'm gonna keep it anyway. I'll bang it out. Um, these prices are pretty high, so if I ever need a new one, I at least have something to fall back on. There is the place that it came out of, I assume. There's the intake over here on the side. Um, so I'll replace that and, uh, put it back together. Should be simple. Just opposite of what I've just done. Put the air filter in, put the collar in, tighten it up and reconnect the housing, which I've cleaned up. So that went in fairly easy. Um, I would use a socket and, uh, the right fitting for these in the future. Um, screwdriver is kind of tight, but, um, it could be done either way. Uh, next time it would be a little easier. Now I just have to put back the um, tube that goes between the intake and the filter. The intake filter um, for the engine has been done. This came off, basically pretty simple procedure. It didn't take very long. This shouldn't take you, if you've done it before, more than 15 minutes. If you, it was your first time and you wanted to make sure everything was done properly, it took probably 30 minutes for me, um, but I moved really slow. Plus, dealing with the camera and everything, it slows me down. Um, anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.